If you're preparing for an interview for a job, and in that job description, they mention Postman. It's important to prepare for questions related to API testing as well as Postman. In this video, I'm going to discuss some possible questions you may be asked in your interview, as well as some answers that you can reply with. First off, what is Postman? Postman is a popular API client tool used for testing and interacting with APIs. It allows users to send HTTP requests, view responses, and organize and automate API tests. Can you explain some of the main features of Postman? Postman offers features such as API request building, testing, collaboration, and automation. It provides a user-friendly interface for creating and managing API requests. What are the main different types of requests you can send using Postman? In Postman, you can send get, post, put, patch, delete, as well as other HTTP requests. Next, can you talk about collections in Postman? Collections in Postman help you organize and group related requests. You can add different requests to a collection. That collection can then be shared throughout your team. Explain the importance of environments in Postman. Environments in Postman allow you to define variables that can be used across requests. This is useful for testing in different environments, example, development, staging, or production without having to change request URLs manually. How do you parameterize requests in Postman? You can use variables to parameterize your request. These variables can be defined at different scopes, global, collection, environment, etc. They can be referenced in a request using double curly braces. Explain how you can automate API testing using Postman. You can use the Postman Collection Runner, or Numen, which is a command line tool for automation. These tools allow you to run a collection of requests with a single command. How do you handle authentication in Postman? Postman provides different types of authentication like basic auth, OAuth, and API key. You can set these up in the request settings. Can you integrate Postman with CI/CD pipelines? Yes, Postman can be integrated with CI/CD tools like Jenkins, TeamCity, or GitLab CI/CD. This allows you to include API tests as part of your continuous integration and deployment process. What is a Postman test script? Can you also provide an example of a simple one? A test script in Postman is written in JavaScript and is executed after the request is sent. It allows you to validate the response. For example, PM test, PM standing for Postman, dot test, and then status code is 200. This will be the name of our test. We then have function and then our actual test. Postman response to have status of 200. Quick break. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. I have books and courses to help you on your journey. Now, back to the video. What are the main HTTP status codes that you're familiar with? Here is a list 
of their main status codes, as well as their general meanings. Any status code in the 100 series is informational. 100 is continue. The server acknowledges that I received the request headers and the client can proceed with the request. The 200 series, success. 200 OK, the request was successful and the server is returning the requested information. 201 created. A new resource was successfully created as a result of the request. 204 no content. The server successfully processed the request, but there's no content to send it in response. 300 series, redirection. 301, moved permanently. The requested resource has been permanently moved to a new location. 302, found or temporarily redirected. The requested resource has been temporarily moved to a different location. 304, not modified. The client's cache copy of the page is still valid and the server didn't send a new copy. The 400 series, client errors. 400, bad request. The server couldn't understand the request due to malformed syntax or invalid request message framing. 401, unauthorized. Authentication is required and the client must authenticate itself to get the requested response. 403, forbidden. The client does not have proper authorization to access the requested resource. 404, not found. The server cannot find the requested resource. And last but not least, the 500 series, server errors. 500 internal server error. A generic error message indicating that the server encountered an unexpected condition that prevented it from fulfilling the request. 502, bad gateway. The server, while acting as a gateway or proxy, received an invalid response from an inbound server it accessed while attempting to fulfill the request. 503, servers unavailable. The server is not ready to handle the request. Common causes include server overload or maintenance. Honestly speaking, the main ones that you'll see while doing Postman testing include the 200 series, as well as the 400 series. And that's it. That's a nice range of from beginner to intermediate and even a little advanced Postman interview questions. If you have any that I missed, leave them below. And I'll create a part two answering those as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.